Before today's video starts, I just wanted to tell you about my Twitch. That sounds wrong, I, I don't know why. For the past week or so, I have been streaming Fallout New Vegas. The last stream I did was four hours long, and it was the most fun I've had in that game in a long time. I'll be leaving a link in the description below for you guys to go and follow me if you want to. Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. Today, I wanted to talk about the new achievements that have been shown for hardcore mode and settlement building. Preston Garvey, wh what are you doing? Doing here. No, no settlements need our help. Go away. Bad Preston Garvey. So over on Reddit, a list of the new achievements for Kingdom Come Deliverance have been shown. These are found in your Steam achievements. If you go to your Steam right now, you can go and check these achievements for yourself. So first up, I wanted to talk about the achievements for Hardcore Mode. Hardcore Mode was shown for the first time at the Alienware Twitch event. Now let's look at the Hardcore Mode. You see the map and there's no indicator where the hell you are. No. So you need to to focus right now on the movement of the sun. It goes up and, and east, it will fall and west, so you need to take a look where that is. Mm -hmm. At the map you have to look on natural places, so right now we are somewhere in the forest, we hear a water, we have we hear water somewhere, and in front of the water we will come, there's an interesting site. This will be marked down on your map, so okay. you are most likely there right now. We're probably right? there. And if you look at the sun, it's setting down in west, so we head east towards Neuhof and so on and so on. So it's, the hardcore mode turns Kingdom Come in a true survival RPG. I love that the compass is practically useless. You actually have to look at landmarks and look where the sun is to gauge where you are. So the first achievement for hardcore mode is called a Hardcore Henry. I see what you did there. If you haven't seen Hardcore Henry, it's a movie and it's amazing. It takes place in complete first person view, but don't go and see it if you have motion sickness because good god. So you get that achievement from finishing the game in hardcore mode. The next achievement is Dis but a scratch. Yes, it is a Monty Python reference and I expect nothing less. <coughs> now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. Well, what's that then? So this achievement will be given to you for finishing the game in hardcore mode with all negative perks. So I think there's up to nine negative perks that you can pick at the start of the game. You do have to start a new game for these to be activated. So as soon as you start a new game, it will come up and you can then choose what negative perks you have. So by playing with all negative perks is going to be extremely difficult and it's going to be a major challenge for people. So if you get this achievement, well done. So the next achievement is Kingdom Did Not Come. There's no description for this one. Uh, the only thing we can get from this is there is a skeleton holding a baby. But that's practically impossible if the kingdom didn't come. So, moving on, the next achievement is from Settlement Building. This is called Bailiff. Ensure the renewal of Pribyshlavitz. So yes, you just have to make sure that you do it properly and that Pribyshlavitz turns into the best settlement in the world. Oh, not you again. Go away, Preston. Wrong game. Trial and error is our next achievement. There is no description for this one, but I'm pretty sure it basically is given to you if you fail. Building the settlement for the first time is going to be hard, and we are probably going to fail the first time. So this achievement will be given to us for the first time when we get it wrong. The next achievement is Perfectionist. Make 2,000 groschen a day from Pribyslavitz. So yeah, you're basically rolling in money at this point. I could just imagine it now, Henry rolling down the street on a fully pimped out pebbles. By the way, that's incredibly hard to say. Pimped out pebbles. Oh my god, that's a tongue twister. Now, the last achievement we have is called Friends Without Benefits. There is no description for this one, but I think I know what it might be. Now, I'm not sure if this may class as spoilers, because I think you can run across them very early, but you can find your friends Matthew and Fritz in Sasau. One of the missions that you get given from finding them is to help them find work. So, I'm assuming you're also going to be able to hire them yourself for your new settlement. These would be classed as special characters. I talked about in my last video where you can get special VIP characters who can boost your income and stuff like that in certain jobs. So that would make perfect sense. So yes, those are the achievements we know about up to this point. I hope that I've explained them well enough. And also I hope that I've made you laugh in today's video because, you know, it's always good to have a giggle. I've had many comments saying that I cheer people up and that means the absolute world to me. And I think that's my biggest goal. I don't want to sit here and just read out a list of achievements. I want to put a spin on it and I want to make you guys happy watching my video. 
Anyway, if you want to go and support me, I have a Patreon. Also, as I mentioned earlier, yes, I do have a Twitch. We are almost at 100 followers, which is crazy. So thank you, thank you to everyone. So if you want to go over there and follow me, that would mean the world. I'll probably be streaming tomorrow night. So if you want to hang out at about 6 p.m. tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. But until next time, that's me. Um, there you go.